Hey YouTube, Magnificent here. I got a proud father moment. This video has little to do with me and more about you and your family. Listen, I was gone at work and some amazing things happened. I'm gonna help you consider the power of what just happened or what you're gonna see by watching this. I am not ready to be without you. A man who has not prepared his children for his own death has failed as a father. Have I ever failed you? Never. If you're watching that, you can feel two things. You can say, well, that's morbid. <laughs> or you could say, you know what? I feel the urgency that I, as a father or mother, should have to prepare my children. Now, coming from where, I, where I've come from, I've always known that I would be okay. My family would be okay while I was there because I would do what it took to take care of them. But my fear was when I wasn't there, how would my children live? And guys, you should see how thrilled I am. While I was gone at work, we had a problem. And here's proof that my family had been gleaning from the things that I've been sharing with them, self-reliance, because they fixed the problem themselves. Take a look. And hey, when we're done with the video, I'm not even going to say anything because my kids, my wife, my sons, my, they all took over. Just share comments. I would love to hear some of the stories that you've had of your family just doing the things that you've been thinking, you've been teaching them. You thought, man, maybe they're getting it, maybe they're not, but they proved it. Listen, it's all coming together like alchemy. Magnificent out. All right, YouTube. So this is Magnificent. And today we have a 2003 Ford Expedition. And so we just have it here. And there's some problems with the cluster gauge. And so what will happen, we'll be driving and then it turns off randomly. And if the radio's on, it'll turn off at the same time. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna check the electrical. There's the fuses down there under the passenger side. And so we're gonna check those out before we get into So what happens when you're driving is that the cluster gauge will shut off randomly as with the radio if it is on. And then the power windows will just stop working. And it doesn't cause any surges or pauses in the engine. So you're fine there. And so we'll just get started right now. We are taking out the, what's the name of this? The dash. So we're taking out the dash to remove the cluster gauge and replace it. Because um, it's having some problems. And then for the um, fuse box, it's going to be down on your lower right, right over right there. <clears throat> and so when you you need to be down here. And you're going to be using a panel clip pliers, and you're also going to be needing a needle nose so you don't break anything. This took a seven millimeter, two screws right up underneath here. You got that? There. One right here and one right here. And it may take more, um, but I just pulled on the top of this, and it comes all the way across here. But I'm guessing I'm missing screw down here. I'm guessing I'm missing a screw down here because it's pretty tight. You need to lower this. Yeah, I'm gonna lower it up. Well, you just lower it, you pull that lever down. It's just gonna be up there. In okay. case you want to lower it. Let's see if I missed a screw over here. using the panel clip pliers just to get it out. You don't want to be pulling too hard because you could break it and then you can ruin all the connections. You just yeah. want to go slow and steady. It feels like I'm still connected on this side. One more thing. Um, so you don't damage your car, you should put Tessa tape. You can purchase it somewhere like a Menards or something. And it's, it's kind. Of, it's expensive just because it's really good tape for cars and everything for working on it, so you don't damage your car. Okay, you got. <clears throat> so I'm taking this panel out down here that's just secured in by clips. And so I think what she's doing, she is. I'm just panels. looking down to see. Yeah. So we've got two more screws down here, but that takes this panel out. Basically, I'm looking to see this whole piece of the dash is connected with just some clips, and except some for these two screws. 
yeah, and some electrical connections. Except for this side, I don't, I can't tell if it's, oh, it was just a clip. Man, that makes life so easy. Oh so my goodness. There's gonna be a clip back there. You don't pull too hard, cause you could break. But right, be very boys. careful, cause if you pull too hard, there's some connections, like right. right there. Go ahead and take those and connections over there. off. And so you wanna be very careful. Man, that is the easiest dash removal I've ever done. So we're gonna do that real quick, the then. Board. Right now we're taking some of the electrical connections. We're not doing all of them because we don't need all of them taken off. But we're just getting it enough where it's out of the way so we can get reach to the um, cluster gauge. All right, let me see this video. Let's look. All right, so we got the front off the cluster gauge. It looks like we've got. I think it's probably going to be a seven mil too. Let's check. Looks like it. Pull that off for me, babe. I'll hand it to you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's a seven mil too. So we've got one right there. And we also need an extension. One right. Got look at the camera. There, see the last one. Oh, one right there. And one right there. So we're gonna take that out and see if that's the only one. Um, yeah, we're gonna take that out and see where we go from there. All right, we removed the two screws that we showed you earlier right here. Typically, right up here, there would be one right here and one right here as well, but they're missing on this vehicle. So I'm able to just pull this right out. You want to be careful because there still are some electrical connections. So don't pull too hard. And if they're not coming out easily, you can use some electrical grease. What do you make? Dielectric grease. Dielectric grease. Electrical. And these are connected on the bottom. <sighs> Mount Zion muscles. Right there. Right there. Ah, there we go. You I don't got need muscles. Well, got muscles. She goes, she got missiles. And the one on there's one on the right side as well. Ugh. Why they gotta be so awkward? Because that means they don't fall out. No. They don't fall out. I think engineers do it just to laugh at us amateur auto enthusiasts. Alright, so we're going to take this one out and then move on. Ouch. The old one is still connected right here. Um, if you look at the back, so this is the new one we're installing. There's no connections for us to put together on the back. It's just these two main connections down here. And then there's this little bad boy um, that actually I think I broke down here when I was trying to take this one out, which is okay, but this one's already broken. So this whole piece has to come out and show us how to take it out, bud. So right above here, there's just a little, just kind of a little lip of plastic. You just pull that down and you pull up. Same over here, and then it should just pull right out. So that whole piece comes out, so I'm wondering if we actually need to install this first and then install it this way, because this wire comes in and out, but it's very delicate, so I would be concerned about breaking it. So I'm wondering if we need to install this first and then that just sits on top of it. So we're gonna go ahead and take this whole plastic piece out of the one we're removing so we can get the whole unit off. Got it removed and it's just sitting right there. Okay. Gotta be very careful so you don't break anything else and make sure your car is off at this moment. Alright, hold this. Because there is a possibility you could get electrocuted. I actually probably probably should have. Will you put this in the top drawer of the toolbox, please? This is broken too, mommy. Oh my that's broken. Alright, so we think we broke it, but it's not entirely broken. If you see, when you pull it. No, it's not broken. That you it's not broken at all. When you pull it, it still moves. Otherwise, you're good. And, but if you want to replace it, you can do that. We're just going to use the old one, though, and put it with the new cluster gauge. Because this, this part was never an issue. This is just where, I don't even know what it's called, to go into drive and reverse and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to turn it back off, and we're going to install the new gauge. Here we got the new cluster gauge. We took the piece out to show which position you're in. See, it should go right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in. 
for my recommendation, you should just pull the, turn the car and you can pull this down to get out of the way. And then be very oh, careful. Hold on, let me do that. That's a good idea. That piece that turns. Okay, All right. I see what this is. Let's Mom, okay, you don't want to pick that. So that piece right there, you'd be very careful with it. So, you don't so it's all good, but if you're if it's silted, like if it's up right here, it may look like it's not working, like it's not going far enough, but it actually needs to be level so it's straight, otherwise it won't go. So make sure you put it in straight first and put it in there before you think of returning it because it doesn't work. It, you're talking about this piece right here Needle. that we had to connect that we thought we had broken, yeah. taking it out. Okay, now we're gonna install the rest right. of it. Moment of truth. It does turn on, everything works out. Um, works beautiful. Look at that. It's staying there, it's not going out. It's just sitting there. That's the right stuff. Radio's not going out. Windows working. So I think windows are back to full power. And we're good. So we're just gonna put all these connections back. There they go. And then we're gonna be done. That was the easiest cluster gauge install like I've ever done. Now let's go do my driver steps. I've only done like two. Yeah, we're gonna finish this, get all the connections in, and there we go. we're dead. Right now, just for next time, we're just finding a replacement screw. Um, we got a big bucket of screws, trying to find which one fits. And so we're gonna do that, and put all the connections in, and we've got the last connections in, and what we're gonna do, just to put it all in, these clips, we're gonna make sure they're in the right place and just okay, push them in. Don't push them too hard because you can break them. This one is Otherwise, hard. you're good hold on, hold on, hold on. to go. Uh, actually did the wrong thing, finding the screw. Actually, these screws go that go right here, they're actually what holds this. So we're gonna take this back out, fix it, and we'll come back. To conclude this video, it works. Took a test drive, it was great. Um, it takes about, it's really easy. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes if you got the right tools. Um, and that's really all. Magnificent Kids signing out.